So as you all know, I live in the UK. And I have a lot of fans. As you can see, this, these shelves are dark, so you can't see all of them. And we've got more down here. Yeah. But I do actually have a couple of American fans. That Galaxy, that Super Deluxe. And all the way over here, this GE. So, how do I run these fans? Despite each outlet in the house is a UK outlet. An American plug, it, it, it just doesn't fit in. So how do I do it? With this? No. This is a USB to UK outlet, so not that. <laughs> I don't know why that's laying about. But with this. This is a voltage converter. This one is an AC to AC adapter. It's, as you can see, input here, 230 volts, 50 hertz. And the output is AC 110 volts. So basically what's going on is when you plug it in, there's 240 volts going into this and 110, 120 volts coming out of it. I think 110. How's he is one? Get it like American Pie, it's like this antique American fan I have, GE 12 inch strap fan. It's a strap fan model, if you're wondering. And you basically, I don't know if I could do it here, but you plug it in there. There we go, we plugged it in. You can see, I know how it works, you just take it, plug it into that outlet like this. Right, like that. I hope, yeah. But the outlet's not on, and as you can see, the outlet's not on, so the fan ain't running. Of course, you don't need that. You can get them on Amazon, I got a small one. You can get a large one that can run for hours without overheating. I have a small one because I don't really run these fans for ages. And what you want to do, switch on the outlet. I don't know, but you can hear it. You might be able to hear it humming. Now there's 110 volts, 120 volts going into this old antique fan. And, that's, and I'll show you here. Here's a low on it. Ignore the crack on it. As you can see, it powers on. It's a hundred. It got it's a hundred three watts, so it's using a lot of watts. This fan is. The reason why it spins so is because it has big, thick, heavy metal blades. That's why it uses so many watts. That's why it's a lot slower than a deal berry. It's a lot, it's a lot slower than a deal berry, just by using more watts than a deal berry. It's because. The blades are a lot heavier than the deal berry, it's a lot thicker. As you can see, it's running well. And I switch up to high. My voltage converter is only for American only. Lift Enthusiast 2020 has one. That is for all different countries. As you can see, the fan is running, but let's just switch it off. And as you can see, that's. Uh, I, I could. Uh, uh, yeah. But, but yeah, that's. And now I'm going to unplug it, and I'll show you another American appliance. Let's grab another American appliance. This fellow small, uses 33 watts. It's my 1983 Galaxy. 33 watts, a little fan. That's switch on the outlet. 110 to 120 volts going into this little fan. It does not run well because the, bearing, the bearings are very stiff on it. Here's a low. As you can see, runs without overheating. Because if there was 240 volts going into something like this, or that GE, yeah, it would overclog and the motor will explode. So you've got to be very careful with this voltage. It usually says it on the information sticker. This one says it. Let's switch up to high. And yeah, 
It does have stiff bearings. It's going in and out. But yeah, you can see we've got it plugged in. Go ahead and hear it humming. Let's unplug it. See if we could try. These are really hard to unplug. That's the issue. It's quite hard to unplug. There you go. That's an American two prong plug. Just like this one. This one you could take apart. This one you can't. And you plug it into this to run it in the UK. So I'm British and I live in the UK. So of course I need that to run these beautiful old fans. Yeah, thanks for watching and see ya.